Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kingdom of Croatia. This is the 3rd of October 1097 AD. We have 2,235 gold, we're making 26.3. 786 prestige, we're making 9.6 a month. 1,106 piety, we're making 4.9 a month. With 2,407 are now at 4.5 a month. We have almost 9,600 troops. We are at war here with our ally, the King of England. Um, this is the war against Lotharingia and Norway or Norger. Right now, the English are winning. And, um, uh, okay. I don't know what that was. That was interesting. So we are going to keep up on three times speed. Um, we are almost done with another stewardship perk. We are King Titar Crescent of Croatia, who is 47. I have a diplomacy of 6, a barkel of 7, a stewardship of 19, intrigue of 5, and a learning of 8 with a prowess of 15. I am humble, zealous, trusting, thrifty clerk, a hunter, an architect, and also reckless. And I am quick. I am of the House Trip of Rovers. Remember the death of Budamir. We have 28 living members. We have 9 out of 9. Domain holdings, we are working on converting Perso to Catholicism, Pula to have more royal control, which is, does have a claim on it by the Bavarians, unfortunately. Which may or may not lead to a conflict in the future. Um, our alliances were allied a bunch of smaller people. Princess Petra of Croatia, who is quick and humbly. Um, Emmerich of Hesse. Hessen would be good. Prince Thomas of France, however. Um, is 13. She's 11. He is delicate. Uh, but we are going to try to get her married off to the Prince of France to try to give ourselves a little bit more uh, well, you know, married alliance is number one, and number two another powerful ally, potentially. In case Bavaria, which is a larger realm than I am, decides to try to attack me. Um, as we head towards 1100, we have 22 uh, we do have the alliance with King Louis the Bearded Members of our council, we're five months away on Pula, six months away on Char, so being converted. 21 months on Kin, I'm trying to get them into becoming Croatian. My spouse did die home again. I informed by my guard that my granddaughter Viola approached Plaziga back over to the Wabazia. She is older, but I recognize her at once. We embrace at the gates. You must tell me everything my granddaughter was. It terrible. There is so much to catch up on. So, the English, you know, as with most allies, they'll get upset if I don't send anyone. Um, we are working on building the keep. Speaking of, it is completely done at best, so we'll go in here and we'll do mining, water mills by routing water. Who is he fighting against? Queen Anne of Lotharingia and Duchess Irregard of Holland. We will accept, and then we'll also spend out of three gold over four months for taxes. Which will decrease building construction time, increase development growth, and then an arms and maintenance. So, what I really need to do is. Yeah, I, I've already accepted. We're going to create a light cavalry regiment, 111 gold. That'll be my six out of six uh, men at arms. We are going to go Dehawk, because that is where our stables are. Wait, what? So the Sturgelsi about the... So the archers are un-brained, or unstationed right now. We'll go to Kassig. As so we have 3,200 men at arms, we'll have 3,300 once we get our uh, cavalry raised.
and we'll actually go to the exp Oh my god, how- I know! You're already at war with this person! I have said accept now. Three times, expanding grazing area. While this is an area that naturally lends itself to grazing, there are still ways in which the available area can be expanded. Trees can be cut down and rocks removed. Reclamation of land from nature release never really stops. So tax gets increased by 0.2. Okay, it doesn't actually. Uh, levies to 175, so we get 50 more levies. Uh, yeah, 126. Okay, well, well, wait a minute there. Um, don't know why it keeps trying to say I haven't accepted it and why that event keeps firing. Yeah, I know. I have said accept. So, the King of England's up to 100%. That's really going to lead me to probably ending this episode very shortly. If that event is going to keep popping up. Oh my god, I'm going to decline it. Maybe maybe, it, maybe it'll stop firing. Um, the Apple Falls. Lately I've been pottering the education for Donna Petra. This college should really be appropriate for your direction. It's being traded stewardship myself, but I found out that particular knowledge is every well, so it should, surely it should be the same for her. Uh, varying skill set is beneficial, I don't want to gain the 48 stress. So hopefully, England ends their war with Norway, and Lotharingi, I was going to raise my men at arms and send them up there, but thankfully that war is over. Um, did not actually have to send troops, but... Negotiate an alliance with Prince Chrysomir the Third. Uh, he accepts. Petra can have a guardian. I will be her guardian. Um. Pressing me, my daughter Petra has been asking me for a wooden warrior for a long time, and I told her I'd get her one for th in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. Ever since I made the promise, she has been redoubling the efforts. I will get that on boy. So she continues to be trusting. I mean, I feel bad for. Declining the invitation there to the King of France, but expectations you were always there for me and help you know I am grateful. My daughter Petra approaches me in a real moment. Well, I expect her to. Be. That's what it means to be a guardian. Um, but I kept trying to join the war and I kept just talking back up, but I had accept. So the fine was the only way to get that event to stop firing. Looks like my wife is a Viking. Mayor Tolvin of Travnik finished the increased county control past the Blue, so he's going to go down to Carso. Oh, dear Lord. Lord. Um. King and Prince of England, Princess Blayla's claim. I'll accept. This was, yeah, see, there I actually am I'm allowed to join that war. I don't know what was going on in France. Uh, or the French war, where I wasn't allowed to join. It's a little weird. But anyways. I can get another stewardship lifestyle perk, so we're going to get at any cost. If I can sell tighter titles. Um, Avaricious is the only thing left there, and then we'll have the administrator tree we can maybe unlock. For stewardship... Uh, Charso is now Catholic. The entire realm is now Catholic, so... We'll go down here, and I will put a claim on Rabazna. Because that is one of the few places that I have left that are, is not part of my realm already. Water mills have been constructed at test. 55 out of 100. White cavalry. I'll leave it to Steve Telemoth to the claim on the Duchy of Athens. 
martial guidance for five years because of my martial is awesome. Uh, I will pardon Countess Vilseca. Has apparently Usora. I don't know. I will pardon them. Not entirely sure what I was partying them for, but I will pardon them. If we went to large store quarries. Just a point to increase in wealth. As the debate of the building materials goes up, the quarries attract more and more liquid. The quarries are going larger and deeper than the passing year. Build time goes down by 10%. Construction time cost goes down by 5%. Development goes up to 2%. And army men and maintenance or men at arms stays at negative 1%. Alright, what if we did. Hey, Perks, instead of simple hay storage, as you ensure the steady supply of food for horses outside of the grazing period. We do discuss for hosting the great tournament. Station like Calvary gets better. Levies are up to 250. Army movement speed 3%. Travel speed 3%. We get 75 more levies. 238 gold for months. One of the things I do know is that we, we, we don't have enough men. Um. Like, we have men, don't get me wrong, we almost said 10,000 man army, but we don't have enough men to the point where um, our loyalist faction has been disbanded. We do kill farmers for root sellers. It's an increase of point two. supply limit increase. In my image, my hostage, Pavel Slav, has recently been speaking to me exclusively in civil creation, and he does so with remarkable proficiency. Pavlov tells me that his educators and the clergy, such as my Archbishop Vid, are to thank for his mastery. I'll just say that's nice. Uh, 126. Aviaries in Laika. Fine. We'll do that. Um. The Greeks are light cavalry to 200 men. Right, we could have 4,000 men at arms if we get to like Calvary all the way up to level, what is that, level 8, right? Queen Judith of Bavaria does not like me. Greenery infestation. Roman have invested several granaries in the county of Charso, destroying the sea green stored in them. But nothing to play protect your crops. The free tenants living there have come to me asking for aid. Given their dire situation, these farmers will ultimately be forced to accept whatever terms they offer them. Uh, I play with grain, should they become my serfs? I get the. I will gain 24 stress, I will get resentful stir. The control level of Charso changes by 25. And I'll do that because Charso's control level is, is pretty low this whole time, so... Um, is there a way I can... Yeah, I'm going to try to do Realm Espionage in Bavaria. I don't know if there's like a way... I do like that mod. He's gonna go to the capital in Regensburg. Because that's where the queen is, and maybe that'll tell me give me some idea on the manpower situation. So I can request military information.
He will not accept because she doesn't like me. Understandable. So I'm trying to spy to see if I can get the information, which of course is going to make them like me. Holy crap, he is getting wrecked in this war. Uh, we're going to have to send our troops to help my daughter's husband. As the king of England here. Because um, he is just getting wrecked. Four thousand. There's ten thousand men there. Another eighty-nine hundred men there. Yeah, we're gonna have to raise my whole army, which is gonna kill my economy. Um, and we're gonna have to send them all to England because he is just getting wrecked. Losing 10 gold a month. That is... Not good. Queen Helga is one against King Walter of Burgundy in the Burgundian the Yuri War. Greetings, my benign leads. I have arrived to positively pay homage to you, you glorious king. As a show of my loyalty, I bring you rich gifts of worthy of your majesty as I took it of my goodwill and servitude. Showed Prince Cressabir at watch, I've got a gain of 50 gold. I wait patiently at my throne for the rival Prince Cressabir, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and inscribed to court his pledge to serve the kingdom of Croatia. As Prince Cressabir stands, he stumbles awkwardly. The court gasps in unison as he falls and he's fallen at my feet. He's flushed with embarrassment. Your oaths are all that matter. He spends the 75 prestige, I gain 6 grandeur, I gain 150 prestige, I gain 50 gold, and we gain 150 renown as a family. So our royal court grandeur is up to level 6. Yeah, I mean, this is just... I was not expecting him to get wrecked so badly by his own people. Um, I think it shows you how much I know, but... Magic curtain walls will be 112 gold for... 12 months. Bailey is the most defensible. Uh, Alright, if I leave, my spies like the beggars, merchants, and soldiers, they prowl markets, skulk through the darkest streets, and eavesdrop to the most important conversations. Over our top of their campaign, they have gathered the information requested between Judith of Bavaria's wealth amounts to precisely 362 gold. And she has rallied 13,579 men under her banner, led by a total of 18 veterans. So we will spend the 112 gold there on the Bailey. Averies were constructed in Lyca. Again, none of this is going to wipe out the cost of the army, but we are trying to minimize the cost of the army as much as we can. Um, right, it's not really going to happen, but... We could build... Oops, for 300, 300 gold. Queen Judith has been excommunicated by Pope Marinius. We are now into April of 1099, so we're about to hit 1100 AD. Basilis um, Barco is what against the Beerapon of the Hotted in the Holy War for Noxos. So the Byzantine Empire is now solidified again. The ancient fort's treasure, while probably deposited by Atreides and I, came across a ruined storage structure that resembled an ancient fort. Really an adventurous, we explored it a bit given that it wasn't huge. While there, we found a chest full of some gold trinkets and jewelry. Six gold. Uh, we won't take what belongs to the dead. Right? I mean, to be honest, if it would have been more, I definitely would have. But for six gold, that. My mother is dying, Queen Elizabeth. That's unfortunate. 
you know, I'll take the 15 gold from Heinrich. Again, that that not gonna do anything, but the Viola, I will be her guardian. Um, going to improve the leather ball because it gives me a small health boost at stress loss. That's going to be my last trinket. So I, the benevolent Peter, I plow through documents, both ancient and of lesser providence. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Verdabazda. I'm not going to press that claim right now. Um, I wanted to, but that was also before I realized that, oh my god, I might not make it. I, maybe, I don't even know if I would have made it if I would have left my boat. This war for is this for the kingdom because he is getting wrecked. Yep, negative 90. I'm coming, I am coming, my friend, my son in law, and my daughter. I mean, I'm not leading the army myself. Actually, you know what? I will lead the army, it's my daughter's and my potential grandchildren's inheritance we're talking about here. Yes, we're taking our time marching through Europe over land, but Ken is now Croatian. We're not going to get there. We are not going to get there. Oh, my God. Well, I mean... We're going to go to Gaka. Baron Thomas. Um, it's now the... I am a lot... Is my new ally. Uh, it's going to take six years at Gaka to promote the Croatian culture. They are Dalmatian. Yep, they're at negative 100%. We're not going to make it. So my daughter is not going to be married to the King of England anymore. God dang it. Well, disband my army. I mean, it's going to help the economy. The only time my daughter Petra has been impressed with the household nights for a long time after finding the meeting in person, she has been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp what it does. Yes, opportunities always come in time. That was unfortunate. Ah. Uh. My brother, Chrisabir, has died. That was unfortunate, I guess. I didn't realize he was engaged in a war there, but he was. We have a new dynasty legacy that is um, available. We have patronage and law. So delegated authority would give me powerful vassal pity plus five. 10% increase attacks and levies, two swords, like build a great cathedral branch, embellish a city decision to gain back the cost of the next religious building constructed, and the embellished city both gold and piety. I think we'll go for the two swords then. Right, so we are a patron of the arts and of learning, and then we are also law. Well, that, that was the most unfortunate there. Build a grand cathedral. Zagreb, the grandest capital, lacks a church worthy of its glory. glory. 
Well, it's kind of ironic because Pazaga is still my um, capital. So Zagreb really isn't isn't the capital, but yet. Um, Seven hundred and seventy five gold The realm is held together uh, to my liege and then hosting your chancellor Prince Christopher for several weeks and he has helped me truly see the splendor of the realm under your rule. I am nothing less than honored to serve as your vassal. Ben and not Theos of Dalmatia, he gains thirty opinion of me. I mean that's a lot of gold. We spend it. I will send my granddaughter to Bavaria to try to prevent her from declaring war on me. I'd be happy to take your granddaughter by Leslie Hossi to look forward to her arrival at Regensburg. Uh, Dugdanamir will accept an alliance with me. My nephew, Khan Bastu, the Hawk of Galicia, Bohemia, will not. Accept an alliance, that is. Ooh, what are you? You're fighting against the band Natasha of Istria. No oh, authority. I'm going to tell him to stop the vassal. War. The House of Islam is under great threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels, and it's very heartless. The response to his magnificence, Caliph Yusuf, has declared that the era of Hindu Jihad is upon the world. The four regions of the Dar al Islam must be repaid at all costs. All righteous Muslim people should be prepared to join the ranks of the Muhyiddin for the upcoming struggle. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggressive aggression. Charso is now back under rogue control. So Prince Gaspar, who is my son, um, is saying, I'm not going to stop this war. Verbus will send our marshal to 60 months remaining. I wonder why we're losing so much county control all the dang time. Um, we're not over our damn domain limit. We're South Slavic heritage. Our only men are allowed to fight, Serbo Croatian, and we have Croatian aesthetic. We are we are still in the um, early medieval period because we're trying to get royal prerogative Bailey as we constructed a char so we will lose the King Peter. The granddad of Ayla is so safely arrived in Bavaria, consider a packet for I mean she called me Low Slope, thirteen months away for Royal Prerogative. Uh, we can get high crown authority of the absolute crown authority. As our royalty has a greater burden placed upon them by their responsibility to govern the realm, so too shall they be bestowed with privileges reserved exclusively for them. About a year away on that. We'll arrange that marriage, so that's fine. We are into 1100 AD. That's cool. Exotic arms. Along with their strange goods, the bushes bring tale tales from distant lands, unverifiable but full of wonder. A group of Serbian feathers purport to have brought Emil Sin all objects that have come from the faraway court of a great ruler. Mara Utama of the Kanjapurid Kanji Pyramid Kingdom, no less. You know, Slav the leading trader, you darkly. I've seen your King Christopher's Warhammer part with it, and I will give you the sweat of a kite axe. So I look now for your guidance. I am not familiar with Tabakini work, but this seems to be finally made. Fine. So.
battle axe to fight craftsmanship, the wrought iron head is mounted in an elegant oak. Half that is carved in a slight grooves or one wood hole. Hold it for a couple longer. Prowess plus one and to be fatal casualties plus two percent. Alright, so we now have a battle axe. I will pardon my niece. I'm not even sure what she did wrong, but she will pardon her. Or I will pardon her. I am now avaricious. I can help my stewardship. 33.3 gold a month. I mean, again, you know, the income is not the problem. Do they really have 7,900 troops? I only have 10,000. How the hell do they have almost 8? That's... That's disconcerting. That, 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 that is very troubling there. Um, wow. We'll go to 192 gold, four months for large stone quarries. We'll do... Hunting Towers, points, Shadow of Faith, the Dawn. Years have passed since my great father, King Presbyter, died of old age. I hope he is serving God in heaven now. Yet the spirit of his faith is still present among the living, both as an inspiration and a challenge. I am still regarded as his son by the pious Catholics. Why wouldn't you be his son? Just yesterday, the old priest was praising him as the current ruler. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Because they're still crediting him. I got you. I wonder if God feels the same about me. I feel the burden need to prove myself as a man of faith of my own to step out of my father's shadow. Renewal patronage after five years. The part they said is after the patronage of my gardener, Carlo, have run out. I can now choose whether or not to renew my patronage for another five years or let him go. Uh, I'm going to say services are no longer required. I didn't realize I had a gardener. But apparently I did. But, and again, this is going to lower the county control in Gaka, so it's, it's just... Dude, just... Go work on religious relations. For right now. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, in a perfect world, I would love to, you know, fabricate that claim, but we're just, we're not there. Right? Um... Thankfully, Gaka, the war did not last long. My son. Has a gigantic daughter, Nada, who is four. That's his only child. I am going to recruit another unit of my light cavalry. I don't need flames. Uh, I will be the guardian for my hostage. My son has learned the Greek language. I, it, 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 it's not flames that I need. Here. If anything, I need the money from the Pope. So that I can go in and say, hey, here's, you know, a very quick building project. I don't think that's going to happen. But if anything, that's what I need. I don't need claims. The world enders. I have heard of a tough but small band of mercenaries called the world enders, causing all sorts of havoc in the nearby settlement. And yet, when I sent it some soldiers to restore order, these mercenaries disappeared nowhere to be found and seemed no trace at all. Further searches turned up nothing, despite the best efforts of my troops and the locals trying to help us find these troublemakers. Now there are rumors going around that the world enders are actually supernatural powers. We're on league with Satan. Very strange, but at least they're gone. I protected my peasants against mercenaries and bullying, so that's good. Like, you know, I'm glad I could do that.
large stone quarries have been completed. Again, I mean, I am trying to stay above 2,000 gold. I do, why do I want to stay above 2,000 gold so much? I don't know. I just, I just do. Right? I want to be a rich kingdom. A powerful king, but I, I want to be a rich kingdom, so... I guess that's why I want to stay above 200 gold. Rit sellers would cost me 126 gold. They allow for the year-round storage of vegetables, something that is of dire importance in sparsely fertile fields. Makes sense. Well, and also, like, if I, like, you saw when we were going to war there, for England, uh, Dr. Frederick II's grand wedding in Lyon. Wow. We'll build the root cellars, that's fine. Uh, we need... Okay, well, I clicked on my court, apparently. I meant to click on this. Uh, we will search for a caravan master. Because if I go to this grand wedding, I'm going to want a caravan master. Because that's a long journey. When would I have to depart? I would have to leave with a 25 day. Dragon is said to be the more experienced of the two, but Slavis of cheaper. Dragon will... Yeah. He will go to the wedding. Uh, almost stuck with a coffin splitter. I reflexively clear my airway. The evening's veil is lovely, but perhaps too lovely as I choke it down a little too fast. Call my urge myself. There's no need to rush. I do that sometimes as well. My acquaintance, Duffy Frederick, is hosting Great Wedding de Leon, and the time has come for us to depart. This ceremony will enjoy his son and heir, Rorgon, and acquaintance, Litzwin, in holy matrimony. I do need to guard both my back as well as my food during this visit. Duffy Frederick is a treacherous creature. I suppose we must. We have an inspiration. Buzzmid wants to make an urn. He's only decent, so I'm going to pass. I will send my sister to the King of Hungary as a hostage to try to ensure peace there while we're on the road. I do will demand it. Opposing band is standing on the road ahead of us. I am Miss Lab of Okik. I have bested dozens of Bedi Kabet, and honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am. I'm on this road looking for someone better than me, someone I can learn from. If you can best be in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. When he, he is Catholic, he is Croatian. I'll have Heinrich try to tell it, keep, beat him. The journey is delayed by 30 days, no matter what I do. Mislav. Heinrich wins, Mislav gains the trait wounded, but he does join my court. Uh, King Puno of Hungary says, I am happy to take my sister as his hostage. A knight errant is known that the people of Rudolf's sword seem to profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing to said, it is most fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossword, for I am in search of a marvelous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you were to help me in this quest, I shall pay homage to you. Vetko is also is Keratinian, he is Catholic, he's thirty-two. I'll just say nice armor you have care to share a coin. He pays me fifty gold. I mean, it's kinda of messed up, I just kind of extorted him like that, I guess, but two hundred and twenty one for hay barracks. Travel a lowly delicacy on our way through Trieste. We appear to have stumbled into a local food market. Everywhere presents and nobles of every culture tug fly around exotic food stalls. They are thick with fragrances I never had imagined. 
My nose was dry to a lowly stall, stacked with a dish I could only dream of. I pulled out of my haze by the halting grass. With Jason, do not waste your pallets on this slot, my lord. Pizzas, pizza. Our for peasants, we have much finer foods at home. He gains five opinion of me as I don't eat it. I love pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? It's not great for you, obviously. We have we have discovered royal prerogative. That is amazing. Um, I can maybe finally change my crown authority. My sister is in Hungary and Kankuno has affirmed the pact. We're going to go for bailiffs because we'll get building slots. What? The language barrier. It seems our caravan has become a little lost in these foreign lands. Bailiffs has had a been trailing us around Verona for hours, though he at last swallowed the pride and asked for directions. He does not appear to be an expert Italian Volga or speaker. 58%. Um, I'm successful. I gained 75 prestige because I successfully interpret the instructions. My glory is now widely known. We're now in kind of like central Italy. Uh, okay, so... High Crown Authority vassal taxes would increase by 10%. Level their levies would increase by 10. Their courtly vassal goes down by 5. Glory Hound vassal by 15. P. Rochial opinion goes down by 15. Zealot by 10. Minority land hoarder and vassal goes down by 20. We can change between all available succession laws. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they can use a hook on their liege. That is useful. Um. Uh, their titles cannot be inherited by people outside of the realm. All vassals who refuse title revocation or vassal retraction are considered criminals. Uh, it costs 330 prestige. So we, ha we now have High Crown Authority, which is very important. Um, mostly because the title is not being able to be inherited outside of the realm, as well as um, the... Uh, being able to stop Vassal's Wars. Life or death stranded, traversing the mountains of the outskirts of Susa. We are suddenly attacked by a swarm of band of raiders out of blood. We are so close to Holy Shirley Mayor Everardo will send help. As time drags on, we are chased by the scouters for the longest time of evading battle. It becomes painfully clear that no help is coming. How could a ruler let malicious raiders like this inhabit his borders? By night, Violet rides up next to me and a solid look in his eyes. We both know the tactics that we have practiced in the past. Is the poly and orthodox? I don't want to say, you know, I, I could sacrifice Bylas. Uh. But I, I, I don't want to. Alright, 31% chance I get wounded, 31% I'm disfigured, and 34% chance I die. But we are going to stand as one. I am injured, but I also have gained the trait Unyielding Defender. Verbus is now under more under control. I have lost the trait Wounded, so that was definitely the right decision. I'm glad I also did not sacrifice my loyal servant there and my loyal caravan master because that would have been messed up. Four months to institute county control in Madras. Right? That, that would have been messed up to be like, yes, yeah, sacrifice yourself. Save me, sacrifice yourself. That would have been bad. So we'll go here for Hamlets, which will give us a 0.3 gold increase. 187, 12 months. The construction of more hamlets means more presence can be put to work in the fields, increasing local production and taxation. Again, we're just trying to increase our wealth 
as we have reached Dr. Frederick's the Grand Wedding. Say 15 days or two weeks before it begins. And then at that point, I think we'll be wrapping up the episode once, once the wedding is completed. So we had an event. We were able to fend off the raiders in the mountains. I look around myself in excitement everywhere I lay eyes on their mingling guests, flowers at every surface, a buzzing surface with loaded dishes, and a very proud host, Dr. Frederick. Taking out the final details, the nervous but excited spouses, Morgan and Litzman, are standing at the ready. So it wasn't quite as far away as I thought, but still we have to go through the Alps in northern Italy. It's not an easy journey, especially in the Middle Ages. We have 10,521 men. It's not an insignificant force, right? It's not going to be as large as, you know, Bavaria, Hungary, the Byzantine Empire or anything. Maybe not even as large as Italy. I don't know. But, you know, it's not an insignificant force. And what I think I'm going to do is I, I've gained a favor hook on Mayor Weigert. Is I think I will try to. Elizabeth is no longer a hostage. King Kuno of Hungary. I think I will try to launch an invasion of England, you know. At some point here and say, I want to get my son-in-law back on the throne. Ben Natasha created the Liberty Faction against me. The wedding ceremony, the ceremony has, reached its cli has finally reached its climax, the traditional rituals have been completed, all that stuff was the final vows. The formal consent, the seal, and the marriage, as both Morgan and Litzman say I do, the crowd starts cheering, and we all stand witness to the beginning of their life together. Madras is now controlled. The formal part of the wedding, the ceremony is finally behind us. Everyone is smiling in anticipation of the gargantuan male. Excited entertainment and general revelry that we are all about to be offered. Let's tuck in. So he'll go to Pula for 24 days because that is going to take the lead lesser amount of time. Every wedding banquet is a host of frankly indeterminable number of speeches, some long, some short, some honest, some deceptive, rolling up and down the hall, punctuating every course of the feast and waves. As my turn nears, I'm left wondering, shall I consider the happy couple or focus on the festivities? After all, it's easy for double meanings to get lost in this most, for most in the sea of words. Say something sweet but perfunctory. Everybody gains opinion of me, and I lose 24 stress, so that's a that's a double bonus, losing the stress. By any reasonable standards, the eats food is an exciting medley of textures, flavors, and spectacle, though this is a particularly special occasion. Near my seat, both Duke Baldur and Duke Lodovico share their opinions about the spread. It's important to dodge every now and then, move with Baldur, and this is exactly how I like to do it. Bob, he should be near being of the realm, Ludovico Storz. Also, what's even the point? Not along without paying attention. Frederick the second gave the pity to be, and I lose more stress. Home again, I am informed by my guard that my sister Elizabeth approaches Paziga. Though it seems only yesterday she departed for Hungary, we will catch up when I am home. Mayor, we Mayor Weiger will pay me the 15 gold that he owes me. Uh, Regent further his mandate. You now you leave the Liberty Faction. You cannot join another one. Root sellers have been constructed in Leica. How did I leave the Liberty Faction? I am the king. The banquets, hall, turbines are beautiful. A medley of murals and flowers, even if they're not strictly the most expensive available. Near my seat, both Baldur and Ludovico share their pities on the decorations. All waterfall turtles, Baldur, enough flippery to make it special, not enough to outshine the happy cuppy. Honestly, I have to say I prefer a load of eco searches for the polite phrase, heavier touch of the fripperies. Again, I'm going to lose stress and I'm not going to get involved. Pula is now under control. So it's just Gaka, which will take forever because of the war that was fought there. Two years remaining. Three years in Gaka for the altar to become Croatian. Speaking of wars, up oh, to my beloved cousin, despite the festivities, a look of pure abject war rapidly overcomes Litzwood and their cousin Duke Balder. He had shakily steadied up, goblet in hand. 
A lured woman, Baldur's speech is the best of literacy references and highbrow philosophical jokes, only occasionally pausing for embarrassing anecdotes from the bride's childhood. She looks like she wants to die. Grin and suffer through it. I will gain 15 opinion of Rorgon. Speaking of war, I am going to go and increase my light cavalry to 400. Actually, I'll we'll increase them to 500. Uh, though not the absolute greatest of fear, the wedding, the evening's entertainments are still an exciting array of ag actors, acrobats, jugglers, and more. Near my seat, both Duke Walder and Ludovico share their opinions. The perfect amount of performers to be so seemly, but I don't know, not Balder of satisfaction. Bah, they're the adequate, they're hardly the spectacle I was expecting. Again, I, I'm going to stay out of it. I am humble, so I don't want to get involved. The wedding night starts. It feels like I've been eating, drinking, bigly dancing, and singing for days. Soon, the celebrations will wind out, and the spouses will retire to their private chambers for the consummation of the wedding. For those of us who remain, let's pour another drink, and let's toast to the spouses. I, as I said before, I wish I could go back in time and live through some of this stuff. It just... I feel like an old soul. I mean, I know I hear I'm on YouTube playing a video game or a computer game and streaming and recording and all that, but I do feel like an old soul. The newlyweds have taken their leave, consigned by the family to the bedchamber to constipate their union. The rest of us return to the banquet hall to make merry and celebrate. With the ceremonies completed, the vows spoken, I am overall with concern and hope for the happy company of all company trials of partnership imperative. The rest of the evening is that mind is spent how I wish. The church will be quiet now. I will gain 50 piety and I will lose 36 stress that I don't have because I am zealous. So I am getting closer to having the 4,000 men at arms. Uh, the conclusion, one after the other, all guests are leaving. It's time for me to depart too. The wedding was a great occasion to mingle with my peers and relax, and I made the preferences tired and satisfied. Sending my best wishes to the spouses for a prosperous and happy union. The intent was recreation. And Kuno, the shield of Ostraholm of Hungary, his wife is deceased, he is 48. It's like he yeah. has. I have Prince Kraslov is my hostage. Prince Adolf of Hungary is, all, is his other son. So I am going to work my way back from Italy. Bitten, oh dear, bitten by frost. It's been snowing for the past few days and the cold is unbearable. I look around to see that my entourage is struggling with it as well. So I decided to travel on foot alongside them. After we walk through the snow, so for another hour, Heydrich pulls me aside with shaking. He yelps. Please, my uncle, I cannot feel my finger anymore. He tries to make a fist, but the pain is too strong. His finger is full and it turned into all shades of black and blue. Uh, Jason completed and it is successful. He lost mild frostbite. That's good. Wayside Shrine, Chamber is home to a famous Wayside Shrine that I happen to be passing by today. Locals tell us it is an uncommon for travelers to spend even a few days praying there, but it said that during so will ensure safe passage on one's journey. I'm unsure how helpful praying at this site would be, but I should at least pay my respects to God while here. I agree. Uh, I will spend several days in prayer, because I, again, I am zealous. Doran Pitch becomes your acclaimed knight, the knight of the wolf. He loses 41 glory. I can ask if I had to pay for gold. He'll give me 898. That is amazing. A travel to come. Journey through St. Michel de Morian. I pass by a peculiar looking tents. Blade open with it. Set more peculiar looking occupant inside. Come in, Almighty King. I can tell you many miles to go, and I can offer you a reading of your future travels. For a modest price, the strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? Uh, I will gain 23 stress because I'm zealous. Accepting fruit, our road takes us through the treacherous parts of St. Michel de Monarien. While it's scanned for any dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. 
Could be a wild animal as I brace myself for a pact. Hydric jumps out of the bush instead, holding a plan. You scared me, Hydric. Anyway, let me see what you have here. Some kind of fruit, I exclaim. Yes, it looks and smells delicious. I wonder what it tastes like. Maybe I'll take just a little bite, he says. I'll let him eat it, and he gets unknown plant sickness for five years, and I gain a hundred lifestyle experience. Greetings, Kingdom. Speak of Croatia, I've considered your plight and decided to grant your request. May these floods help you spread the true faith. So I now have almost 3,000 gold. So with that, I'm going to go build the hunting towers to track and spot prey. Centennials watch at towers all over the land, reporting to their sightings back to the hunters. 178 gold, 6 months. We'll go here. We will build the hay barracks, a set of simple state hay storages, ensures the safety a steady supply of food for horses outside of the grazing period. Um, Gauss horse race and melee contests go down by 10%. We have superior mounts at level 4. Cavalry gets better. Levies improves, improve army movement and travel speed increases. 221 gold, 3 months. Treacherous slopes as we travel through suicide, taking the beautiful view from the mountainside when I steal my eyes away to focus back on the stony path ahead. I realize we've been surrounded by a group of ruffians, a tall man, presumably the leader, steps out in front of our caravan. Passing through these mountains, I'll pass you, don't care who you are, pass you, anyone passing through my mountains, pays. I will go to battle, I'll... Either lose 300 gold or gain 150. I gain 150. You and your entourage travel freely through the mountain pass, and I gain the 150. That's right. Duke Gerard's friendship. I've never expected it to grow as close to Duke Gerard as I've done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man, only with my best interest. We become friends. So I have now maxed out my light cavalry. Well, they're only at 500 out of 800, but they will get there. My granddaughter Viola was taken prisoner. Who is Duke of Swabia? I pray God this guy Viola is soon set free. So my granddaughter is a prisoner in Swabia. Heinrich Carlin is no longer my bodyguard. I just want to make it home so I can end the episode, to be honest. Like... Prince Christopher the Third raised up your granddaughter from the dungeons of Duke Enfred. Van Krasilov converted from Slovenian to Serbian. At least I am almost to Veneto, so I'm getting closer and closer to Croatia. Not there yet, but I am getting closer. Viola uh, Zoran will be her guardian. Thirty years gain some traits. It is eleven oh two. I do almost have eleven thousand troops. I almost have my four thousand men at arms. Local hero as we traverse the valley, trudging through the rocks, we encounter a modest way we're shy, they naively carved. It sports across it and said it below the weathered words. Here lay state Miss Elena of Crane, blessed daughter of Reewitz. St. Miss Lena praying, it seems the local spiritual figure is being patronized in these parts, why not sanctioned by the Catholic Churchy? Uh, we're just gonna get it going. Jason is no longer your court physician, danger, runaway, or loss. As we manage to get through a dangerous path in Reedwitz, we decide to rest for the night as I walk around the encampment, suddenly a strange feeling that someone is missing bothers me. I ask around and everyone agrees that one thing they don't remember seeing Jason all day. He was keeping the rear guard in the war toward province. I suppose that wasn't the best idea, knowing his bravado. He's probably already getting for the front lights, unless he's just lost somewhere in the mountains. I'll spend the piety and just say I don't want to risk more people getting lost. Like. We now have friendly locals as we stop to cape outside a small village in Rudolph's Word. The locals come to investigate our caravan. At first, I think they're trying to trade with us, but soon it becomes clear they've come to give us gifts and learn everything they can about our culture. 
On local particular topics, Slav has a billion questions about where we are from. We'll take every benefit we can. I will gain 60 gold. I will lose 36 stress. Right? I will never turn down an opportunity to take gold. I mean, I know I'm humble and all that, but... All the roads since leaving home nearly a year ago, I've seen highs of those, reveled in the wind blowing through my hair, and lamented the rocks in my boots. There are so many places, so many things they have yet to see out there on the open road. I feel the free of the stuffy castle, if only for a little while. The roads are full of pilgrims and wanderers, perhaps it is among them that I will find peace of mind. Oh, out here I'm truly free, I gain the trade traveler. Which gives me a diplomacy of plus one. Traveler characters have a plus ten opinion of me. That said, I am almost back to Paziga. I gained trade, 10 great experience in Wanderer and traveling. At long last, I am finally home. There is nothing better than arriving back in Paziga after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master, Bialis, who we thankfully did not sacrifice. Reports that we've journeyed for 475 days and traversed 53 baronies. I'll never forget when Mayor Vardo Susa did not raise a finger to assist me in my traveling entourage as we were being assaulted outside his holding. My regency ended. Prince Gar Gaspar gained 150 prestige. Hay barracks have been constructed at Pest. Grand tournament. We can hold court. Build a cathedral. Change my stack. I don't want to do any of that. Uh, I have another stewardship perk. That will do, and then we'll wrap up the episode. Meritocracy. I can use a claim throne scheme against my liege. I am the liege, so that really is kind of pointless. But anyways. So that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. It is 11.02 AD. It is June. We are still trying to, you know, convert more of our counties to Cro the Croatian culture. Thankfully, we have most of our counties are under full royal authority. We do have... I crown authority now, and actually, we'll look at succession. Uh, we do not have the primogeniture partition. We don't have help, so we need to do some of the uh, partition laws. don't need any more armor. I do have a little over 11,000 men now, though. Uh, so we have homesteads, bailey, hamlets. Hunting towers were constructed in Lyca. You know what? We're actually going to do 8 months, 75... Petra has come of age. She will get married to Prince Thomas of France. We will build militia camps. Give me a hundred levies. Um, that will go down in, in what is that? Tarso, right? Yep. They we will get paid ten gold for one of our prisoners to leave. Or be ransomed. Uh, and yeah, like I said, that's I think where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Thank you to anybody and everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I will continue to try to get better and better quality and content. There will be a couple of games coming out. New games for different games. However you want to say it here in the next week or so. As well as obviously Out of the Park Baseball 24. Thank you again, everybody. Take care, and I hope I am around to talk to you all more in the future. Until then, hopefully, I will see you all later.